Hello everybody, I'm the Bad Enabler, and I'm here with- I'm sitting in the InStyle. Is that offensive? Um, anyway. <laughs> I should, this is where I should stop the video and just start re-recording. Well, that's how I grew up knowing it, so I don't know. It's not meant to be offensive. Anyway, alright, um, I'm here with some really good, I think, information from the Body Shop on the Body Shop about products that come from the Body Shop because I have a lot of Body Shop body butters and tis the season to be buttering up because it is always the seasons to be buttering up actually. In the wintertime, it's freezing cold and your skin gets dry. And in the summertime, you want to have that beautiful sheen when you're out and about, when you're on the beach, when you're, I don't wanna say tanning because you really shouldn't go tanning because it is not good for your skin. However, if you happen to be out and about in the sun, when you're done and you come home and you take a shower and you scrub and you whatnot and you get rid of the sand, it's nice to put on a body butter to rehydrate your skin, right? Right. So, I have a lot of body butters. It's a fact. If you've seen my empties videos, you know I have a lot of body butters because I go through like 10 of them on average a month, or maybe nine sometimes. One every three days, it's a lot. So, sometimes when I go through my body butters to pick out a scent, I say, should I use this one? This one looks older. Should I use this one? I wanna, I wanna smell like the scent. And a lot of times I base it on scent and I base it on feel. Once in a while, I'll say, well, this one's been hanging out for a while. I really should start to use it. And I appreciate it and I like it and I enjoy it, so it's fine. But I don't want to only go toward the older body butters. I want to make sure I enjoy the ones that I have all around. So, that being said, I want to prevent myself from winding up one day with a bunch of older body butters that I'm like in this mad dash panic to use. I'll be slathering myself up. I'll be using it in the pan when I'm cooking something. I'll be like, I don't need real butter. Who needs Paula Dean? I have body butter. I have um, Anita Roddick. So anyway, she's the one who created the body shop. But So what I did was I found out, and I... you. I could not find this out online, so if you could, more power to you, but um, I got the information I needed, and I don't know if I was supposed to get the information I needed, if it, but I got it. I'm going to share it with you, because I find it incredibly useful, and you may as well. So, um, here we go. Some items from the body shop expire before, like, a three-year period, okay? Most of the items expire at 36 months old, okay? It's like it has a three-year life, and then boom, boom, done. But some expire sooner. The ones that expire sooner than 36 months, those have the actual dates stamped on the product. Hold on. That was a wrong number. However, I kind of feel like it was the body shop and they know that I'm filming this video and they're like, we don't want this information released. All right, I'm kidding. Um, it was the wrong number though. So the items that expire before the 36 month mark, those items, they have the dates stamped on the actual items themselves, like when they expire, so that's good. But for the ones that expire at 36 months, there's no expiration date printed anywhere on it. You have to know the code. You have to know the code to know when your product expires. And I have the codes for you. So this helps in a number of ways. One, if you buy a ridiculous amount of body butters like I do, or um, shower gels or anything else, or scrubs, the dates, those, those codes are stamped on all of their items, so you can now understand when they expire. No problem. So that's one thing. And two, also if you're going to be purchasing an item and you see that they have some at the front of the store and some in the back of the store, like, you know, different sections, whatever, feel free to pick up an item from one section, pick up an item from the other section, and look at them and look at the code and ask yourself which one is fresher and just buy the fresher one. Why should you do that? Because why not? Don't you want the fresher item? Wouldn't you buy the fresh tomato if you were at the market or the tomato if you were at the market? You want the fresh one, but get the fresh one. You're welcome to get the fresh one. All right, so um, here are the codes. Um, but just what you should know is that prior to 2010, the codes did not exist on the items and bottles and stuff. So if you don't find the code, chances are it's pre-2010, which means it expired around 2013. So you should either not use the item or use your judgment. I'm not saying to throw out all the old items because some of them might still be good, but definitely use your judgment if it looks like it is bad or different or weird or it's the smell changed, then I would say it's better to be safe than sorry because you can buy a new body butter, you can buy a new shower gel, but you can't buy a new body or new skin. And if you could buy a new body or new skin, then you are remarkably wealthy and like Bill Gates or one of those type people who has the opportunities to do those things. I am not. Um, so, let's go. On the back of any body product that's currently released, and by the way, the Smoky Poppy Shower Gel is ridiculously hard to find that, the code on because it's a black bottle and they print in black. 
So let me show you a shower gel that is the Virgin Mojito because it's green and it's so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, and the code is on the back. See there's a little green thing right there at the bottom where my finger is right there. There you go. See it says XLD blah blah blah. The only things you need are the XLD. I'll tell you why. Anytime you look at a Body Shop product, you should see that code starts with an X. The X is their way of saying, this is our product, X marks the spot, think of it that way, okay? The second thing, the L, that is extremely important. That is the year that the item was manufactured. Got it? So I'm gonna give you the breakdown for the year. Starting, let's start in 2015. Um, 2015, 2014, 2013, 2012, 11, 10. Those are the only years that they have these codes for, okay? And they go in alphabetical order and there are no vowels, okay? So 2010 is when it started and that started with a G as in George. 2011, H as in Harold. 2012, J as in Jacob. 10, 11, 2013, K as in Kevin. 2014, L as in Larry, 2015 M as in Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. All right, so if you are lucky enough to find an item with an M on it, that means it was manufactured this very year. If it's L, it's the year before, it's 2014, and like that. And if it's G, it's 2010, it's old, so be careful. All right, so think about it, 36 months. If the item says X, G, blah, 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 it definitely expired. You don't even know, you don't even need to know what month it was created in, okay? But it is 36 months from the date on here, with the code on here, and it should be the first day of the month. Which, how do you know the month? How do you know the month? Is that what you're asking? The month is right after, so you have X stands for the body shop, think of it, X marks a spot, and you've got the, let's say, the G, the H, the J, the K, the L, the M, okay? And then you have the, the whatever it is. It's going to be a 1 through 9, or it's going to be O, or it's going to be an N, or it's going to be a D. I'll show you on a body butter so you get a better look at it. I'll show you on the coconut body butter. So this one says XM3. So that stands for the Body Shop 2015 March. So X stands for the body shop, M stands for 2015, and then the three, the third month of the year. So January is one, February is two, March is three, April, May, June, July, August, September is nine. After September, if they went to October with that code, it would have to be a 10. They're not doing that because it adds too many numbers. They have other stuff in the code. So when it gets to October, it goes to an O. When it gets to November, it goes to an N. When it gets to December, D. Easy to remember, okay? So when I see XM3, XM3, that means body shop, 2015, March. So if I count 36 months from March 2015, I've got March 2018. I have March 1st, 2018. That is when this product expires. Okay, I'm going to go to the Virgin Mojito shower gel just for practice. I'm going to do a couple for practice. I hope you don't find this, um, I don't know, like kiddish, but I really want you to have it in your brain so that when you go to the store, you get the best thing possible. XLD. So I'm going to work this one backwards. It's, 20, so it's Body Shop 2014 December. So that means I have until December 1st, 2017 to use this. Not a problem. If you've seen my empties videos, that's a lot of empties. Um... Let's see, Smoky Poppy Body Butter. This one says XLO. So that's Body Shop 2014 October. So they produced this at the end of last year because they were releasing it in February. That's smart, I can see that. But that means that I only have until October 1st, 2017 to use it. No problem, I love Smoky Poppy. I love you, Poppy, I, I love you, Poppy. All right. Um, Virgin Mojito, the beautiful scrub, which I will be using this summer. I will, I will layer with the Virgin Mojito shower gel and the body butter. It's going to smell amazing. And the body spray, which has 1% of the uh, fragrance alcohol. This one says XM1. So that means body shop Madonna. Madonna. No, 
Body Shop 2015, January. This is like super fresh, super fresh. So I have until January 1st, 2018 to use this. It's not gonna last past this summer. Watch my empties video in probably um, September. The, no, it would be the one for August. Watch my August empties video in uh, like a month and a half or so. And you will probably see all of those Virgin Mojito products. And then we have finally the jumbo tub of pink grapefruit. And this one says, can you see it? X L O. So Body Shop 2014, October. So that means that I have until October 1st, 2017 to use this. So again, starts with G. Anything that does not start with, anything that starts that doesn't even have like the G, it doesn't even have an X, there's no code, totally, totally, totally expired. Um, just be careful, I'm not saying again to throw everything out, but you should try to use the older products first, but also take into account which scent you want to wear, how, what you want your skin to feel like, etc. because let's face it, like there'll be days when I know for a fact, you'll see this, I have a body butter that I'm certain is expired and I'm going to have to go upstairs and go into the body butter closet. Yes, there's a body butter closet. And I'm going to have to sort them into the batches in which, or the expiration dates in which, you know, they're labeled so I could use them in some semblance of order. The problem, however, is that even though I know for a fact one of them is expired, and I mean by one of them, I mean one type, but I have like a bunch of them, like six or seven, I know it's expired, but I feel like it hasn't changed its consistency, it hasn't changed its texture, its scent, its anything. And it's the kind of scent, it's the kind of butter that you want to use when you want to feel like extra good. You know, like that day you could fit into your skinny jeans or something or whatever it is, you just want to feel special and you're like, yes, you, or you can't, or the day that you can't fit into your skinny jeans and you're like, I just want to feel special because I am special. Nothing else can tell me anything and like, that's it, I'm special. Then you use your body butter, use your scent that you like, make yourself happy. You should make yourself happy. You have one life to live until you get cloned and you know, live it nicely, live it well. So. I'm gonna go up to the closet. I'm not gonna go in the closet. I'm gonna go up to the closet. I'm going to take the body butters out of the closet and I'm going to try to arrange them in some semblance of um, expiration date order. If you wanna see that, stay around. If you don't wanna see that, if you found the information useful and you wanna just go and do your own, then I will see you all soon, I hope. And um, yeah, but otherwise, let's go upstairs. Come on, let's go. So this is not where we're going right now, but I'll show you <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't know how much you can see how many layers deep that is, but anyway. This is not where we're going now. This is kind of, sort of, the, um, you see there's a lot back there. The supply of things that I'm currently using or that I kind of currently want to use. That's why there are so many Fijian water lotus or loti. Can't tell you, like, why they're all in this cabinet. Can't tell you, don't know. Now we are also not going into this cabinet. Where's the, there's the door hole, okay. So we're not going into this cabinet, even though you see it's full. There is some argan oil back there. There's argan oil as a gift set. And there are many, many, many more gift sets downstairs. Um, yeah, we're not going into these either. This is mostly the scrubs. There's some shower gels, there's some body mists. Um, there's a lot, but we're not going here either. We are going into the closet. We're going into, well, every, I have to laugh every time I say it, I'm sorry. So we're going into this closet right here. Uh, I feel so nice and happy whenever, any time that this door opens, I feel so happy. So you see, there's a lot, see that nice deep breath. So there's a lot to play with. Those red things in the back are gift sets. Those things, those are gift sets. And then you see, it's, I know it's hard to see, but that's one level, that's another level. And then there's a level in the back. See the white, the clear ones on top? Yeah, there's a lot there. I have to organize them so that the body butters are mainly up here and that the shower gels and stuff are over here where the shower gels and stuff belong. So there's some older Bath and Body Works stuff, a lot of shower gels. This is the bulk of it, but it's not all of it. And then there are, of course, the two bags of stuff that I recently purchased at my last haul. And then there's also the Fiji uh, green tea gift sets that are on the side and all of the argan oil gift sets that are uh, downstairs and all of the coconut giant body butters that are downstairs as well because I'm not going to be using them anytime soon. 
It is a sea of body butters. Body butter, 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 butter. Sewing butters. Anyway, I pulled out all, not all, sorry. There are like 20 something body butters still upstairs that I did not pull down because they're in the little cabinet that I showed you. And there's a bunch of gift sets. I didn't bring down any of the Shea gift sets. I didn't bring down any of the Argan Oil gift sets, which are already down here. They're in the gift closet. But anyway, I just brought down the loose ones and not even the new ones that I bought the other day at the body shop. Not even, I brought down one of the gigantic ones because I was like, I'm not carrying them back and forth and back and forth. So let's get, let's get the sorting started, right? I'm just going to put it out there. I could totally use a snow cone right now. I could totally use a snow cone. I am starting to get heated because this is almost overwhelming, but I can do it and it will be for the better of mankind because it's good skincare. It's good body care. It's better for everybody. Better for me, better for you, better for everybody. Better butter. All right. So I will start with the Duo Butter Acai Berry. This was amazing because it was like a duo. They made it for dry skin and normal skin. The only con the only thing about it was that I liked the dry skin part better because the normal one was more of like a lotion. And I prefer my butters. So I probably have like three of these. I used two of them. This is the one that's left. I'm certain it's expired. Um, it says XJ7. So XJ7 goes to, let's see, GHJ. 2010, 11, 12. Seven. So that means July 1st, 2015 is when this expires. That means it expires like now. So this is going to be top of the stack for me. I will keep it very, 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 very close to where I am so that I know when I put it back in the closet, it stays toe with the front of the closet. Now, Shea Butter, I've got a bunch of gift sets. Those are those red things that look like snowmen in the closet. I did not bring those down. I only brought down, how did I only bring down this one? There had to be at least one more. I don't know. All right, well, this one says K. So G H J K. So that means 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, so this has got a while. This is like 2016. This is um, K6. So June 2016. So I've got a full year to use this. Not a big deal. I'll place it somewhere in the middle. Next up, Lychee Blossom. Oh, they were selling at this sale, actually. So I guess they got them back in stock. I don't know. This code is XH5. Ooh, ooh. GH. It's 11. So it's May 2011. 12, 13, 14. This expired May 1st, 2014. The last time I used it ugh, was a few months ago, and it was fine. It was perfect. So I'm going to have to step carefully when I'm approaching this butter, because it might be a bad butter. If it's a bad butter, I'm going to throw it in the gutter. Now I'm going to throw it in the garbage, or, yeah, I'm going to throw it in the garbage. I'm not even going to empty it out. I'm just, I know this sounds horrible, but if it is expired and it doesn't seem right when I open it up, I'm just throwing it in the garbage. I'm not going to empty out the contents and get it on my skin to recycle the thing. No, you're going in the garbage because it's better for mankind. If you're bad. Hopefully you're amazing because you smell amazing. And you smell amazing and you smell amazing and you get a body butter. Did Oprah ever give out body butters? I don't think she did. So here's a second one of that. And it also is, uh oh, this one's different. This one is H, see? That's the reason why you gotta check them all. This one is H1. <sighs> that means January. So this one expires sooner, so put this one on top. See? You never know. You could buy them from the same place and they're just different batches. Batches. We don't need no stinking batches. Um, so, Burriti Baby. This was such a pleasure, this one. This was supposed to be so, like, perfect for anybody that you could use it on a baby. Now, I didn't understand it then and I don't understand it now why a baby would need moisturizer unless you were bringing it to the Sahara or something and you were afraid it was going to shrivel up and turn into a raisin. I don't see why you would moisturize a baby. So, this one says it expires. Ugh, it's so light when they're stamped. See, the thing is, the thing is, the learning point is, even though it's stamped, you can still see it. It's H6. So, and this is on stuff for eight bucks. That was a good deal. So there's a little stamp up on the top, H6. So that means GH, ugh, 2011. So June 2011, 2014. This is expired like a year ago. Yikes, zoinks. What are you going to do? Are they all H6? Let's find out, because I have three of them, because I was being so reluctant to use them. Yes, same, because they're so amazing, and they were so, these were ones that never went on sale, and then they discontinued them, and the store that sold them actually closed down, and I remembered, yeah, it says no, no nasties, poo delicates. Look at the cute label. It actually says no nasties. See that? Right there. No nasties, pew delicates, whatever that means. Gentle buttery moisturiz moisturization for wriggly babies. I thought it said wrinkly babies. It's like, ooh. 
Enriched with oil from the precious Amazonian burriti tree. I feel like Amazonian burriti, you have to do like a burriti dance. I don't know. Is it similar to a burrito dance? The burrito dance is probably the bathroom dance. Sorry to be gross. All right. So what else? So wait, this, oh, how, oh, so these are all staying toward the very, very front because they're all expiring. They all expired already. Um, so the H's were before the J. Okay. So I'm going to put the, I'm putting them in an order, which I understand to tell me, use me first. So next up we have a ton of raspberry. One of my all time favorite body butters because it is almost like the perfect consistency for a body butter. It's not too thick like the shea butter. It's not too thin like sometimes the lychee butter, the lychee blossom can be thin. I like the consistency of the raspberry one. Oh, this is an L. Perfect. Almost like L Woods. L1. So that means um, 2014. Something time until January 2017 to use these. I feel like I could smell them through the container and I know that's impossible. So I'm going to take, oh, this one's different. This is L-O. So this is October. This is a fresher one. Ah, see, if you had, if I had checked the labels when I was buying these, I would have bought five of the ones that have the October and, you know, none of the ones that have the early one because why not have the extra few months to use them, right? Fresher is always better. Unless you're talking about, like, kids being fresh to you. No room for that. No. Fresh. No. Don't be fresh. Um, think of Mrs. Garrett. What would she say? Girls! Girls! All right. So, XL, Smoky Poppy, this is brand new. There's, none of these can be very old. XL9, XL9. These all have to be XL9. Oh, XLO, see? One's September and one's October. That's not a big difference. All right, so point is, is that you can actually get one that's fresher if you just look at the labels if you compare it to. I'm not saying to devastate their little setup in the store. I'm just saying turn one over, turn two over, and see. It's like one of those games at the carnival where you turn over the things and match them. Yeah, think of it that way. It's a game. Um, this one is XL. This is I just bought this like two days ago. This is fine. The rest of them are upstairs still. So. The mango looks so much, and I'm not... What the heck? Oh, I was like, how many of these did I get? One's the small one, one's the big one. Um, is this L? Yeah, this is XL November. This is XL 9. So I should use this first. Even though I just bought this two days ago, I should use this before I use this one. Great. Good. Right. No, that's fine. No, it doesn't matter to me. And this is the same thing, XL November. So I'll put this one on top of these two. That'll be fine. This is good because I'm getting organized. And being organized when it comes to body butters is amazing. So pop quiz. Ready? Bus is going. No. Um, XL7. What does XL7 mean to you? When do you think it was created? XL7. XL7. Anybody? So that should mean it was created July 2014. So when does it expire? Did you say July 2017? Because then you're right. July what? July 1st, 2017. Right before the 4th of July, you put on your vitamin E body butter, which is such a sweet, it's a nice, like, it's almost like a baby powdery kind of scent. Good for a man, good for a woman. Good for anybody. And it goes with, like, any kind of cologne or perfume that you can imagine. Um, also, I like, actually, I'm wearing this one today. So if you like the, the sheen on my skin, it still smells nice, even though I've almost been, like, glittering, glistening, whatever else you want to call it, because I'm almost overwhelmed with this project of sorts. This one is Vanilla Bliss. I know there's more Vanilla Bliss. See? Oh, here. You know what? The Vanilla Bliss looks so much like the Moringa when they're side by side, but they're just slightly different colors. So, yeah, here you go. So here's the two, and I was looking at the two Vanilla Blisses. XK. G, H, J, K. So this is 2013, 6. So June 2013 makes it June 2016. All right. So these should be before the Smoky Poppies. And these should also be before the vitamin E's and before the mangoes, all right? And how about the Vanilla Bliss XL? That's fine. Go, go, go on with your bad self. Go next to the vitamin E. All right. A couple more to practice with, and then I'll, I'll leave you be. I'll keep on sorting, and then I'll show you the end product of my toils. Passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit is so good. However, oh, my, my Lanta. All right. Passion fruit says XL2. So that means L is 2014, 2 is February, because it's the second month. So February 2014 means February 2017 is when it expires, February 1st, 2017. The thing about the passion fruit is, this is, he's a little stinker. He smells amazing. He's like Problem Child, that movie with John Ritter. He is like Problem Child. Like, he smells amazing. He looks so sweet and innocent and happy and fun. And, oh my God, where did you get that child? Where did you get that body butter? 
Well, when you use it, you, you feel good. Don't get me wrong. You smell great. Don't get me wrong. Gosh forbid. You like rest on your arm. You like go to take a nap. I don't know who takes a nap like this. I take an ice. This, this is how I nap. Ready? Yeah. No. Um, if you go to take a nap, if you go to sleep, if you like sleep with your arm under your pillow or something like that, and then like it happens that your tongue like comes out of your mouth, that sounds disgusting. I just mean like it happens that you like like do that or something or someone kisses you you're getting intimate you're having sexy time and you're using the passion fruit prepare for the person to be to like spit and say like what is that like are you wearing like repellent or something it tastes like bitter apple it tastes like the thing that you spray on wires and stuff when you have a little puppy that's teething because you don't want the puppy to eat the wires yes i tasted that because i wanted to know what we were doing to my puppy when i was little i was like what are you doing to the puppy why are you spraying the wires he likes eating those wires my little puppy had his little frayed hair everywhere. Um, regardless, the passion fruit smell, it tastes like that bad apple taste that repels puppies from gnawing on something. So if you're going to have sexy time, I'm being completely sincere, do not use this product under any circumstances at all. Any circumstances. Unless you hate the person who you're with, in which case, use it. Slather up. And then they will go and run them. Um... So this one, and also the same thing for, which is upstairs in the little cabinet that I showed you, little white cabinet with the lace, um, Choco Mania is amazing. I love the smell of it. Oh, my land, I love the smell of Choco Mania. Choco Mania smells amazing, and I use it, and I love it, but I use it under very, 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 very strict circumstances. It's like, it's going to be in the morning, it's going to be when I know I'm going to take another shower soon, it's going to be when i it's like it's really cold out because that's a good moisturizer that one like stay it's so good great for like the dead of winter but it's like this is a summer smell and i'm like i don't know i love the smell but i'm always like oh because you eat french fries you eat with your hands you put it no 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 but i love the smell why do you torture me the passion fruit is what it does because it's passion for harassing me strawberry tastes fine eat it don't eat it don't eat it but it tastes fine. Um, XK, so okay, you're fine. Here's, this is my other shea butter. XL, this is fine. Fijian Water Blossom, you're new. Water Lotus, you're new. Brazil Nut, L. K. Oh, no, Lemon. H, this expired. And I've got, like, ten of them. All right. I have to go through them. Are they all expired? This one says G. Oh, geez. One's older than the other. One's 2010, one's 2011. Yikes, zoinks. Well, we'll hope, I hope that they're fine. Maybe I'll go through them this summer. Maybe I'll try to um, use them up if they're still good. If not, then I will hit the garbage can because it's better to be safe than sorry. So here come the line of body butters doing the cha-cha across the screen. And argan oils, these should be, yeah, L, L is fine. And more Fijian water lotus. At least I get to see how many Fijian water lotus I have now. And love, etc. is H. So, yeah. So, in, in my stack of ones that I have to use immediately or that I have to, like, test out, I only have the acai berry, which expires this month. I have two lychee blossom. I've got three burriti baby. I've got two love, etc. And then I have a stack of lemon. Everything else, I'm in the clear, which is awesome sauce. I feel like, oh, there's one hiding. Look at you. Look at you hiding over there parting of the butters a pink grapefruit this is brand new the l yeah this is fine so that's it i just wanted to give you that information about um about how to figure out the expiration dates and do a little bit of sorting on my own you got a sneak peek of my body butter hoard and um if you want just a recap did i do glazed apple oh i don't even know if i did glazed apple anymore such a mess such a mess all right well i'll finish these on my own but don't forget it starts with the g g is 2010 G, H, J, K, L, M, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Three years, that's 36 months from the date on the back, okay? And don't forget, one through nine, that second thing, is January through September, and then it's O for October, N for November, D for December, and the X at the beginning just stands for the body shop, and do not worry about any of those other digits at the end of the code. Those do not matter to you. All you need are those two. All you need is the month, sorry, the year and the month, the year and the month, and that's it. So go make sure you get some fresh body butters. If they look creepy, then sayonara body them. Sayonara to those body butters then. And that's it. If you found this useful, by all means, thumb it up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I'll see you here. 
And if you want to find me on Facebook or Twitter, it's at Charlie Casso, C-H-A-R-L-I-E-C-A-S-S-O. That's on Facebook and Twitter. And it's all random stuff. As if my randomness wasn't enough for you, you could find more of me there. And I will see you all soon. XOXO. Don't go. There's a special bonus feature if you want to see. Uh, here we go. Okay, the closet's a work in progress. There are the lemons. So that's seven lemons, 11 Fijian water lotus, and then only five Brazil nuts, so there must be more on the way. Then there are the mangoes, mango, 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 and papaya. Here are the five gift sets. They look like snowmen, they're adorable. And inside is, should be a full-size body butter and a, full, and a small body scrub of shea butter. And then there are the Snoky Poppies. I love you, Poppy. I, I love you, Poppy. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh oh. So that means that Smoky Poppy and Fijian Water Lotus are in a dead tie. And Argan Oil. Oh, Argan Oil may have beat them because there's three Argan Oils right here, but I have a bunch of gift sets downstairs. So they may be in, they may be in the lead. Green Apples moving on in and found a bunch more papayas. So those are up on top. So the Green Apples are going to move in. I need to make room for some of the stuff that's going to expire sooner. And unfortunately, the one that's going to expire super soon is Dreams. Isn't that horrible? Dreams are going to expire the worst. And then I moved some coconuts right here and vitamin E's and one shea butter to go along with those shea butters. Fuji green tea on top of the argan oil. Vanilla and vanilla found homes over there. Um, Moringa over here. The raspberries right here scooched up between the smoky poppies and the shea butter gift sets. And hemp, which is amazing for if you're gardening and you don't want to get bit by mosquitoes. It's like a mosquito repellent. It is so good for that. Passion fruit on top of the hemp. Strawberry on top of the passion fruit. And then there's a bunch of the two love. There's three burriti baby. And then there's the lychee blossom. Here's the burriti baby. And what else? Let's get some more in here. I'm gonna pop the shea butter. Oh, here's the other shea butter, right there. Well, which one expires first? So I'm in that order. The jumbo butters are so pretty. So is that it? No, because it's still the other closet. But you know what? This is a very good start. I don't like the way this looks, the big ones in the, in the front. I felt like nobody puts Raz Baby in the corner. My raspberry was in the corner, not good. But you can still see the colors back there, so it's pretty. This seems much more manageable, and I know for a fact that these right here are the first to go. These right here, and then these right here. Because they're the most, in my mind, prevalent. The most obvious. And then I'll go from there. And I'm always going to mix and match and do the ones that I want to use the ones that I want to smell like and feel like and wear first. Because you need to enjoy what you're doing. Alrighty, it looks like we're done. It looks like everything is done. And I could not be more pleased. I mean, I probably could, but that would be if I had helped from one of my people like Tori Spelling. Not that she's one of my people, but I mean, one of my, I don't want to say icons or idols because I know that's wrong to say, but um, yeah, I could be more pleased, but I'm very, very, very pleased with the work that I did today. It was a long time coming. So I'm going to go take a shower, a much needed shower. I'm going to scrub. I'm going to do the whole everything possible. And I'm going to moisturize when I'm done and bask in the air conditioning. We're having a heat wave in New York, so I'm going to bask in the air conditioning. And I'm not going to dance. I'm not going to do anything weird. I'm just going to bask. Because when you are overheated, you just want to bask. So that's what I'm going to do. If you found this informative, by all means, thumb up. And that's a like. And if you are not a subscriber but you want to see more randomness, by all means, um, there's a subscribe button down below somewhere. We will see each other more often. And if you want to find me on Facebook or Twitter, it's at Charlie Casso, C-H-A-R-L-I-E-C-A-S-S-O. And that's on Facebook and Twitter. So, and that's a lot of, that's just crazy. You can just check it out and you might, you might be entertained. You might be like, this guy's an idiot. But um, either way, have a very happy and healthy everything and enjoy everything. That's it. XOXO, everybody.